Nearly 400 people are planning to board buses bound for Hartford today. They are urging lawmakers to approve funding for the Danbury Charter School. Well, they've been fighting for six years after the State Board of Education granted them the charter in 2018. NBC Connecticut's Jennifer Joas joins us live from the Capitol to explain. Hey, good morning. So 64% of students in the Danbury Public School District this year are Hispanic or Latino. They make up the majority, and it has primarily been the Latino community that's been fighting for this charter school. Parent after parent is pushing lawmakers to finally take action and approve the funding for Danbury Charter School. We need more options, we need better choices, and we need our leadership to lead. The school management team went through a rigorous process in 2017 just to get the charter approved by the State Department of Education. But session after session, lawmakers won't approve the funding. We want something better for our kids. And when that is blocked, what else you have? What is your hope here in America if you came here for that? Parents say this school will provide more equity to students of color. It will have an international curriculum with bilingual instruction to help their children excel instead of struggle. Now six years in with no approval, they say it's starting to feel intentional. Folk telling black and brown people, and it's, that's a real thing, that they know more about what they need for their children then the families themselves is interesting. <laughs> and it, it raises a lot of questions about equity um, that need to be answered. And, and on occasion, you have to call those things out. Like, you know, I, that's not to say people are doing so intentionally from that lens, but the impact is still the same. Republican lawmakers who represent Danbury support this. But Democrat Senator Julie Kushner has previously expressed her opposition. In a statement, she wrote, I've secured tens of millions of dollars in additional state aid for the Danbury Public Schools, and I will continue to advocate for educational opportunities for all students. The president of the teachers union says the Danbury Public School District has also been chronically underfunded for years because of city lawmakers, and the focus should be on correcting that so the full student body can benefit versus just 6% through the charter school. There's not infinite resources. We really do need to step in and step up and support the system we have and allow it, honestly, the fastest way to meet these students' needs is to contribute and uplift the system you currently have. Now, Danbury is also building a career academy that will serve about 1,400 students when that opens up. That's being delayed because of construction right now. Instead of careers, though, the charter school's primary focus is on preparing students for college. Now, I also want to mention that Middletown is going through a similar fight over this last year compared to six years with Danbury. And they are also pushing for a prep school to be built in Middletown and have been denied the funding last year. So they will also join people here in Danbury to rally today. Live here in Hartford, Jennifer Joas, NBC Connecticut News. Back over to you. All right, Jen, thank you very much.